Wouldn't it have been cool to see a woolly mammoth in real life? Or stand face to face with a saber-toothed tiger? Unfortunately, that world doesn't exist anymore. But it once did, and those were not even the only stars of the extinct world. Many other extinct animals used to walk on the face of Earth that were just as mind-blowing. So let's take a walk through history and meet the animals that have gone extinct now. Let's start with the mammoth. These were the bigger versions of elephants with shaggy coats. Mammoths were built for cold climates with a layer of fat up to 10 centimeters thick. Their tusks could grow over four meters long. Most mammoths died out around 10,000 years ago, likely due to climate change and overhunting by humans. But a few survived on remote islands for thousands of years after, basically the Ice Age version of a legend. Standing not far behind in the prehistoric Hall of Fame was Smilodon, better known as the saber-toothed cat. These animals lived in the Americas and were built like bodybuilders. They had short tails, muscular builds, and of course, those signature teeth up to 28 centimeters long. They used their fangs to pierce soft areas like the throat, not to chew. Fossils found in the La Brea tar pit show it was one of the dominant carnivores of Ice Age America, before vanishing around the same time as the mammoth. While we're on creatures that got famous post-extinction, here comes the dodo. This flightless bird lived only on the island of Mauritius and had no natural predators until humans and their invasive animals arrived. Within a few decades of its discovery in the 1600s, it was completely gone. Now meet the great auk, another flightless bird, this time from the North Atlantic. It looked like a penguin, but wasn't one. Hunted for their feathers and meat, the last two known great auks were killed in 1844. People literally chased them into extinction. There also used to be a kind of tiger known as Tasmanian tigers, or thylacines. They used to carry their young in pouches like kangaroos. These were marsupial predators that looked like dogs. Tasmanian tigers used to roam across Australia, but once Europeans showed up, it was hunted, blamed for killing livestock, and gradually wiped out. The last known one died in captivity in 1936, and despite hundreds of unconfirmed sightings, it is officially extinct. Then we have giants like Megatherium, which were basically ground sloths the size of elephants. They lived in South America and was so huge it could rear up on its hind legs to reach tree leaves like a bear. It was a slow-moving herbivore, and like many Ice Age giants, it likely disappeared due to climate change and human hunting. We also had Glyptodon, which looked like a Volkswagen Beetle with legs. It was basically an armored armadillo the size of a car, complete with a massive club tail. It lived in the Americas and probably couldn't run from predators very well. Once humans showed up, the odds were not in favor of this poor creature. Now, some animals didn't look that weird, but were just unlucky. Like the quagga, a type of zebra with stripes on the front and plain brown on the back. It lived in South Africa and was hunted into extinction by the late 1800s. The last one died in a zoo in 1883. Scientists have tried recreating it using DNA from zebras, with partial success. How can we forget about the Irish elk? Even though it was not Irish and was not technically an elk, it was still called that. It had the largest antlers of any known deer, sometimes over 3.5 meters wide. It lived across Europe and Asia and likely went extinct due to changing climates and shrinking food supplies. Heading underwater, there was Megalodon. This was a prehistoric shark estimated to be up to 18 meters long. Its bite force was enough to crush a car, and its teeth were the size of a human hand. It dominated the oceans for millions of years before vanishing around 3.6 million years ago. It went extinct due to climate change and the rise of smaller, faster sharks like the Great White. Then there were the moas of New Zealand, huge flightless birds that could grow over three meters tall and weigh up to 250 kilograms. They were wiped out by early Polynesian settlers who hunted them relentlessly. And since they laid only a few eggs at a time, they didn't stand a chance. Now, have you ever heard of Stellar's sea cow? It was a gentle, slow-moving giant related to manatees that lived in the Bering Sea. It was discovered in 1741 and hunted to extinction by 1768, just 27 years between discovery and disappearance. Now for a weird one, the Host's Eagle. This was the largest eagle ever known with a wingspan of about three meters. It lived in New Zealand and hunted giant flightless birds like the moa. It vanished soon after its primary food source disappeared. One extinction dragged another down with it. The Passenger Pigeon is another tragic story. 
Once the most numerous bird in North America, billions of them filled the skies. But commercial hunting and deforestation wiped them out. The last one was named Martha, and it died in 1914 in a zoo. Then there is the strange story of the Pyrenean ibex. This mountain goat was declared extinct in 2000. In 2003, scientists cloned it successfully for seven minutes. It became the first species in history to go extinct, come back, and go extinct again. And these are just the ones we know. Fossils tell us about even more lost species, including giant beavers, dwarf elephants, cave lions, elephant birds, and short-faced kangaroos. Some disappeared millions of years ago. Others vanished just decades back. Which of these animals do you think should be brought back through cloning? Let us know in the comments below. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more quick and casual explanations. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.